Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. What well, the fuck you today is actually going to be about heaven and hell. Now, before I get started, I just want to establish that I personally don't believe in either one. I believe both were created by man to try to manipulate people into following their religion. If you're a good, obedient follower that don't question anything, then you go to heaven. Obviously, they created hell to scare the living shit out of people into believing in their religion. Because who wants to be burning and tormented forever and ever? Okay, to me, it's all bullshit. But either way, for the sake of this video, we're going to pretend that they exist. Now, heaven. We've all heard the wonderful stories about heaven. It's a wonderful, magical place where the streets are paved with gold. Side note, why the fuck do they have streets anyway? No one's driving around here. But either way, I digress. Streets are paved with gold. There's no pain. There's no suffering. There's no hunger. There's nothing. There's no food, there's no sex, there's no good music, there's no sports. Again, there's no nothing. All you do every day, all day, is sit and worship God for eternity. I don't know about you, but that seems pretty fucking boring to me. I would lose my mind. I would sit there and go, oh God, you're, you're so wonderful. Oh God, you're, you're so merciful. Oh God, can, just please give me a blessing. Oh God, can, can, I, can I get a fucking TV and a sandwich? I mean, shit, it's been six fucking months. Why am I sitting here? We're doing the goddamn, same goddamn thing all day. Come on. Can I get a Frisbee? Can a brother get a Frisbee? Just, just throw me a Frisbee. Shit. What also boggles the mind on this point is that you go through all this bullshit in life. I mean, you go through all these trials and tribulations and all this crazy shit in life just so your reward can be to sit day in and day out for eternity and stroke God's ego. That's the prize? That's the reward? That's why I suffered and went through all this bullshit so I can sit up here and praise you? That's it? I mean, shit. Can, can I get a better reward? Or just a, a smidgen of a better reward? Or like, you know, anything? Ugh. Sorry. Sorry. But people want to go to heaven. Hey, more power to you. If that's your cup of tea, drink the shit. On to hell. Now, apparently, I'm going to hell. Or so I've been told. But to me, hell isn't shit. According to the Bible, they say that hell has no fury like a woman scorned. So that means any man that has ever been married and pissed off his wife or ex-wife has already been through far worse shit than he can ever go through in hell. So if somebody come to me and say, oh my gosh, you're going to hell. You're, you're just going to burn in hell for the things that you say. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's cool. As long as I got to be married to that bitch for eternity, I'm fine. I, I can deal with fucking hell. And you know what's really also fascinating to me? Just think about this for a hot second. Why is it that God's ultimate punishment for humans doesn't even compare to what humans can do to humans? Isn't that a little fucked up? But either way, this is, my, this is me thinking about if I went to hell. If I'm in hell and it's burning and I'm hot and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm on fire. God, I'm so sorry for everything. God, I'm burning. God, please. God, I'm sorry. God, I don't have to work tomorrow, do I? No, I, I don't. Oh, shit, it's hot. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, the fire, it is burning. It's, I don't have any bills. It's pretty sweet. Is this, is this pit mine? So I gotta pay for it, right? There's no property tax or no shit on this pit. All right, I'm not going to get taxed out the ass for having this pit, right? This is mine. Somebody can get pissed off at me and come take half my pit and shit, right? I, I don't have my pit anymore because this bitch want to divorce me and take my pit. So this is my pit? All right, cool, cool. Oh, God, it's burning. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God, is that Biggie? What's up, Nick? Oh, shit. Come on. Dude, drop a line for me. Come on, man. We ain't going anywhere. Shit, we're going to be here for eternity to drop a line. Oh, shit, there you go. He flowing. Oh, shit, here come Tupac. Oh, shit, it's about to get popping in here. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, you know what? Uh oh, oh, it is fucking on. It's about to be on up in this bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, they flowing. You know what? We need some ribs. Somebody got some ribs around this joke. Come on, give me some ribs. Give me some ribs. We got some ribs, hot dogs. You know, anything. Give me some half smokes. Let's throw that shit on the pit. You know what I'm saying? We already got the fire. It's just fire brewing. It's already cooking. You know, why not? You know what that means? While you Bama's up in heaven doing absolutely nothing, we're going to the stripper pit. We're getting the strippers to come to our pit. We're going to have hot dogs and shit cooking. We're going to have freestyle battles going. We're going to have rock and roll legends, because you know all the rock and roll legends, they're not making it to heaven according to all these other people. 
So they're going to be down there rocking and shit. We're going to be down there barbecuing, visiting the Walmart, picking up barbecue sauce and shit, because you know it's going to be a Walmart in hell. They're everywhere else. Shit, why not be in hell? So we're going to be down there rocking, having strippers, you know, blazing, having a grand old fucking time. And you, Bama's going to be up in heaven. We're not even a Frisbee. Mm. Bet you wish you sinned now, didn't you? Ha, ha. You know, it's kind of depressing because hell sounds really, really, really fun. And too bad I don't believe in this shit because that would actually be a really cool place to go. Strippers, rappers, you know, barbecue and shit, making Satan run to the store and pick up some relish and shit because we out. That should be on and popping. But either way, shit doesn't exist. But if it did, we would definitely turn that bitch out. All right, man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'll see you later.